Da, 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 da. It's Thrilling Thursday. Just suggestion. I think somebody needs to make us theme music. It'd be more fun. Okay, allow me just one second to, you know, do a little bit of magic and I will be in the downstairs lounge now. Hey Katie, it is Thursday, September 27th, and I am supposed to do a walking vlog as well as post my favorite video. So I'll go ahead and do that. My video of the week is going to be Near Death Experiences by Dan is Not on Fire. It doesn't matter how many times I watch it, that one always makes me laugh, so that's mine. I'm sorry about this being shaky, by the way. It's on a table, which is not very stable. <laughs> Rhymes. I'm going to go ahead and start my walking vlog now. Let's get on with it. Okay, so I think I figured out what I'm going to talk about as we go walking. I love this campus. It is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to talk about awkward experiences. The first one occurred at home. My RA, his name is Robbie, and he has this lovely bowl on his nightstand of candy in this jar. And what everybody was waiting for were condoms. Because, you know, by putting candy in the jar, it makes it slightly less awkward. And I was reading the email he sent out. And as I was reading this, my mother was sitting beside me. I did not know she was looking at my computer screen. She just starts, what is this about candy and condoms? I think I should email this guy. And I'm like, oh dear God, please no. Do not let this woman find out his number or email or anything. It's not for me. It's not like I've used it. There are some people who they don't have them and he provides them if they need it. And she's like, what is he, a sex counselor? And I'm like, no mom, no he's not. He's just not right. We got into this big to-do about it. Yes, I did just say to-do. Oh, Nate is gone today. His truck is not where it's supposed to be. But the second awkward experience that I've had came from, it was my fault mostly completely. I took my shower and I was really tired so I just said forget clothes I have a towel. I walk out of the shower and I'm going to my room and I'm like yay it's 12 o'clock at night nobody is up so I am safe for now. And I was until my friend Abby came out of the lounge. She started talking to me. I'm just standing there in my towel going into my room or trying to anyways. We're having this conversation just you know, how was your day? How were classes? Oh, everything was fine. It's all good. And then, let me see, who can we compare him to? Hmm. He was like Damon off of Vampire Diaries, good looking, just comes out and I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding me? And I'm just standing there in a towel. I just want to disappear into my room. And then he just stands there and stares the whole time. And I'm like, can I please stop being naked? And then Abby finally quits the conversation. I, like rush into my room. And as I do, I just hear this chuckle. And I know that it's hot guy. He now thinks that I just walk around in a towel, which for some people is cool. That's not the image I like to project because I don't. See, look, completely closed. That's how I like to kick it. Oh my God, there's a squirrel. Fine, leave you little bastard. I don't care. So tell me, have you had any awkward experiences yet? Anything involving no clothes and just a towel, which are always the best, or maybe condoms with your mother? Okay, out of context, that sounds really bad. Not what I meant at all. Don't forget to go watch Near Death Experiences by Dan is Not on Fire. No matter how many times you've seen it, that shit is still funny. So bye, and I will see you tomorrow. I was editing this and realized that I basically have no explanation of who Nate is. He's the guy who lives down a floor and down the hallways. He's really nice, super sweet, loves to cook and hunt and fish and all sorts of stuff. So, yeah, that's who that was when I was like, oh my god, his truck is gone. So I'm watching my video, and the more I watch it, the more I hate it. But, you know, I can't really do anything about it for now because I need an actual camera that I can take out and work with if I want to go watch people do cartwheels or whatever. It would be easier for me to do a walking vlog if I had an actual camera, but I don't. So for right now, I'm sorry about the quality of my videos. I really hope they'll improve soon. Also, I just, I need more people. Like, your video was so funny yesterday and I loved it. Probably because you had somebody else in there who was interacting and making it funny. I need to find somebody that I can do these with and hopefully after that they will get much funnier or just get better. So I, I apologize. I'm sorry. Bye.